Now there's one more video I want to put out today. Um, I put out a video and, and, you know, like if you know your Bibles and you know Jesus, teach me. And uh, then I had this uh, subscriber uh, send me a response video. Extremely, extremely negative video while well, she thinks it's positive. And um, so I wanted to comment on it because, it, I mean, one video was really, really positive that the only way that we're going to solve global issues is if we solve them at home. So heal yourself, heal your families, heal your communities, and then it will unfold global changes within our governments and, and corporate structures. We all work in it. We're all buying from it. So if we change something within ourselves, we change what's outside there. Now. Um, one thing that I want to say, and she related it to a Bible, so I, this is where her belief systems are coming from, which is my point, that how you're perceiving your Bibles is actually where you're getting your wrong information and your negative energy from. And um, something that we, we, we do is we look out into our universe and see what we want to see and not see what actually is real. And this person ended up tell it writing a video that forgiveness it was a video on forgiveness it never told me to forgive um, you know but the conversation after that video was very clear that she was trying to tell me that I needed to forgive and it's like okay you're a subscriber to me um, clearly if you've watched my videos then you'd see that I have forgiven my um, ex-husband who was the major abuser if she really looked at my videos I made a, a video on who the hell do I hate? You know, like, where's my forgiveness list? And, and that was massive because it was like, okay, I hate my ex. I, I hate the government. I hate all corporate world. I hate everybody buying within the corporate world. My hate list included everybody on the friggin' planet. So way back when I started this channel, I made a video on, I had to forgive everybody on the friggin' planet. And it was really easy to do because nobody knows what the hell they're doing. And it's easy to forgive those for they know not what they're doing. But um, she wanted to continue on that uh, that somehow I still needed to forgive. And it's like, okay, you are not seeing what is really going on. You're seeing what you want to see. You want to see that I haven't forgiven anybody. And you want to constantly push your concept on what forgiveness is. And, I mean, she was going on, uh, all you have to do is shake it off. So it's like, I'll throw that out. Somebody just tortured your children. You sat and watched your children get tortured. Let's say, oh, for a month. You know, you had to be you're tied down and sit there and watch your children scream and bleed and cry for your help. But you couldn't help them because you're tied down. You know, and, and you watched people doing this to your children. And then when it was all over, did you just shake it off? Just forgive them? You know, okay, you don't have to like what they did. And you could just walk away and never be around them. You know, but you're just going to shake that one off. <laughs> you know, your, your kids now are going to be affected by it. Do you think your kids are going to be able to just forgive and shake it off? Is that what you teach your kids is get the friggin' shit beat out of them, torture them, and then just shake it off? That's your idea of solving problems? Is that what your Bible tells you? That perspective just puts you, you know, in, in a position of, of being a victim over and over and over again. And, and you know, it, it is. I brought up Wayne Dyer. It's like, focus on the positive. Focus on the positive. Never deal with the negative and it will create, you, create cancer. You know, because what you've done is you've suppressed the real issue. What created it? What caused you to be in that experience where your children are being totally abused? There's something with inside you that you aren't dealing with and you just choose to ignore it. You're going to say something out there is, is creating it. It was those people that did that to your children. And that is totally dead wrong. When I was looking for how do you end the cycle of abuse, trust me, nobody on this planet knows how to break this cycle. Otherwise, we'd be having world peace. Bibles are definitely are encouraging us to perpetuate every evil because it's spare the rod bullshit. You know, like if that ain't going to teach your kid to discipline you to do everything, that's wrong because let's face it, nobody knows how to do it right. You, 
have a concept, a social belief of what's right. And because your children are loving beings from birth, a parent that disciplines their child are only disciplining their child to fit within society and look at our society. So, you know, I think you need to get your head a little straight before you start doing any discipline. Um, for me, my kids ended up teaching me more about life. Yes, I've made mistakes. I have disciplined my kids, but every time I ended up finding out I was dead wrong. The more I listened to my kids, the more I got schooled uh, because it was, you know, letting them be the heroes, letting them perceive that they know everything that's right. Why did I do that? Because my parents beat the shit out of me and they were dead wrong. And they were convinced by Bibles and by uh, medical professions that they needed to beat me. And here I was a loving being and there was nothing wrong with me. And it's like, why the hell are you beating the crap out of me every day? So I, you know, that's when I started getting a connection with God. And that's where he told me why they're doing what they're doing. And they're doing what they're doing because it was something they were taught. But I knew I was right all along. So when I had kids, I was going to raise them thinking... They know more than me because, after all, I was somewhat programmed by society as well. So I listened to them, and man, did they teach me a hell of a lot. Um, when you tell somebody not to do something, what's the first thing they're going to do? Do it. So, you know, whenever my kids wanted to do something, and I'm not saying I did this all the time, but this is something that I'm really guided towards, this is the truth, is let them be right. Just find out why they're right. You know, find out their logic. What What is making you really, really believe that? Why do you want to believe that? What do you think the outcome's going to be? And then play dumb and say, well, if I did it that way, then this is what the outcome I see is going to happen. Do you think that this is right for me? If I did this and this happened to me, would this be right? And, and then they can teach you more and say, well, no, not really because of this, this, and this. And it's the conversation that you need to have, not the discipline. So getting back to what forgiveness is, is... Um, you got to understand, you're a magnet to attract exactly what you experience. This is the hard pill that you need to swallow. Um, that while I had this massive forgiveness uh, out in the world, I had to realize I was great in my world. I took responsibility for my experience and not blame everybody else out there and not look for anything out there to save me. God wants you to save yourself. He ain't coming up here to rescue. Jesus ain't showing up. Jesus never saved nobody. He came down, offered some advice. It's up to us to follow that advice. But he didn't, you know, end all sinning. You know, he, he, he didn't save anybody's life. He only showed you that, hey, if you live the life that I live, you can't be killed. You know, because he ascended. And none of us, nobody that's reading any Bibles is actually living like Jesus lived. Why? Because you can't comprehend the Bible. Why? Because there's 10% lie within that Bible. Everything in reality is like 90% truth and 10% lie. And you'll find that in Bibles. And if you can't tell the difference between a lie in your Bible, then you're guided down the wrong path. And one good example of that was your advice that I still needed to, to do some forgiving and that I'm going to be stuck within the same war. And it's like, my war is over. The only war I got is people with religion that want to push their concepts of um, solutions on me because you are the problem. You don't want to deal with yourself. And, it, you know, when I sat there and sort of like asked God what the hell, you know, what is it I'm supposed to learn by attracting even that conversation? And it's like, ah, just just be true to yourself. And if those that want to believe in Bibles want to destroy themselves, then that's their lesson to, to learn, that uh, it is ultimately you. Do you want to look at what it is you want to experience? You know, are you going to take responsibility for your life? Are you going to be looking out there for somebody out there to save you? God's going to save you. Jesus is going to save you. An alien's going to save you. The only person that's going to save you is yourself. And you really have to look at what is it that I did to create the experiences that I created. That is the hard pill to swallow. And so I had to look at myself of why I created all of the abuse that I did. So it's, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, I could forgive everybody that's out there. Yeah, my ex did do a lot of really criminal. He's dealing with a lot of lack of love within himself. Um, but clearly, I, I lack love within myself as well. And um, I'm the people pleaser. And so I'm out there pleasing everybody else. But I didn't do dick all to please myself. I'm no good to anybody else until I'm healing myself. But, you know, 
on the other perspective, my ex was lacking love as well and, you know, was taking as much as he could to fill up the lack of love that he had because he didn't have the love for himself. So it, at both ends of this perspective are lack of love. Um, so there you have it. It's like, if you want to see that I haven't done any forgiveness, you're seeing something that's within yourself. And might I suggest that you may be repeating the same patterns and uh, you're teaching your kids how to attract uh, abusive experiences and you don't even know it. And, you know, you don't know it until you see the suffering. But you can, you know, predict the outcome based on somebody's beliefs because your belief systems create an action and your actions attract the experiences you want to have. So it's like, you want to attract that lesson of how to love yourself first, how to forgive yourself, um, then the universe should reflect that. But if you're seeing anywhere in my videos that I haven't done a great deal of work on forgiveness, and forgiveness in the deepest level, not the surface level of block and deal and just shake it off, then you're seeing, you're seeing your own reflection there, which tells me you haven't done any forgiveness yet. You know, you've just buried it so far deep you can't see it anymore and you're manipulating your own freaking mind to think you've done the job, but you haven't. You know, and follow your own advice. Do some forgiveness. That's usually what I try to do is, you know, I put a lot of advice out there, but I don't expect anybody to listen to it. I try to listen to my own advice. So it's like, maybe examine where you're getting your belief systems from. Maybe your Bibles are what's manipulating you to um, go down Satan's way. It seems to be fairly negative. Um, doesn't sound like you've done any forgiveness, but you're going to be at war by your own words. You're going to be at war yourself until you do ask for help. Same advice you gave me, you might want to ask for help um, and change how you, you view your world because your world that you're looking at, I mean, it's not true. <laughs> and no matter what I said to you, you still wanted to see that I didn't do any forgiveness. And it's like, you're seeing what you want to see. And that's because I'm a reflection of what's inside you. You're looking through your own eyes. You're looking through your own reality and thinking that it's me, but more than likely you especially judging from the conversation. It wasn't a very loving conversation. You were putting out an extremely negative vibe, so much so that I had to unsubscribe to what it is you're saying. So if you got anything positive to say, trust without a doubt, I ain't listening to anything you got to say because I can't handle that negative energy. I know what love feels like. And, you know, I need that love. I need to be around that tribe that has worked within themselves, has that love within themselves, because when they have that, I feel it. You know, I know what the difference is between uh, love and hate, and I can't stand, I'm hypersensitive now, I can't stand being in a room full of hateful people, and I can't, I can't stand to walk into churches, because they are one evil group of people. They've got such negative friggin' energy. Um, but I can tell the difference between what feels good and what doesn't feel good. And what, you know, when somebody's feeling good, they're actually doing good towards other people and other people are actually got a smile on their faces. They can, you know, they're healthy. Health is um, a good baseline to judge whether something's positive or negative. Um, good health will always judge whether you are in that positive or negative frame of mind. When I see somebody that's not healthy, I know that they've got some negative energy within them. And don't be surprised of uh, what health is. Um, a lot of people are very, very blinded to... Uh, when you're younger, you can't see your health issues half as much as you can see after doing the same thing for, uh, you know, 50 years. You can see if you play that, that out, you're going to create yourself some cancer. So can pretty much see the cancer way before it even comes up if you're hypersensitive so might want to work on healing yourself you know thanks for for Karen I can see that you do care but care about yourself first and care about your kids first before you start caring about me because it's a very negative energy peace and love